I'm Joe Alden, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of www.doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 600 articles, podcasts, and videos on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alden, we're the co-authors of the Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook, the New York Times bestseller, The Ebola Survival Handbook, and the designers of the new board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, a great way to get the whole family interested in the survival mindset. Today's video is another in a series on antibiotics and their applications in survival settings. A wise addition to any survival medicine cabinet would be antibiotics. Many infections that are considered minor today could become life-threatening without access to these microbe-killing drugs. When, however, do you use them? Which ones are appropriate for the illness you're treating? Are there other considerations that must be taken into account? One of the antibiotics on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines is doxycycline. Doxycycline is a synthetic, man-made, antibiotic in the tetracycline family, the first member of which was discovered in the late 1940s. It's effective against a wide variety of bacteria such as Haemophilus influenza, Strep pneumonia, Mycoplasma pneumonia, Chlamydia gonorrhea, and many others. Doxycycline is marketed under various names, including Vibromycin, Vibratabs, etc., etc., etc. Its veterinary equivalent is a popular avian drug, Bird Biotic. Doxycycline, as it is related to tetracycline, is acceptable in patients that are allergic to penicillin. It works by inhibiting the production of bacterial proteins necessary for their reproduction. Doxycycline is an extraordinarily versatile drug. Indications for its usage include the following. E. coli, Enterobacter, and Shigella infections, common causes of bacterial disease. Chlamydia and gonorrhea, sexually transmitted disease. Lyme disease and Rocky Mounted Spotted Fever, tick-borne illness. Anthrax, cholera, plague, even the plague. Gum disease, severe gingivitis, periodontitis folliculitis, boils, even acne and other inflammatory skin diseases such as hydradenitis, which you'll see in the armpits and the groin areas, some lower respiratory tract pneumonias and urinary tract infections, and some upper respiratory infections if they're caused by strep. Doxycycline can treat methicillin-resistant staph, MRSA, MRSA infections. It can prevent malaria, and it can actually treat some parasitic worm infections by killing bacteria in the gut of the worm that is needed for their survival. In the case of Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, doxycycline is indicated even for use in children. Otherwise, doxycycline is not really meant for those under the age of 8 years due to its tendency to discolor teeth. It's also not approved for use during pregnancy and it does pass into the milk of breastfeeding mothers. Of course, avoid doxycycline if you're allergic to any medicines in the tetracycline family. The most recommended doxycycline dosage, in adults at least, is 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams a day for 7 to 14 days. It comes in 100 milligram dosages. For chronic, long-term, or more serious infections, treatment can be carried on for a longer time. Children, if they are given the medication, will receive 1 to 2 milligrams per pound of body weight per day. For anthrax, you'll have to treat for up to 60 days. As prevention against the malaria, adults will use 100 milligrams a day, 100 milligram tablet or a packet of 100 milligrams. Doxycycline should be taken with a full glass of water. It should be noted. You may have heard that drugs in the tetracycline family have been reported to cause kidney toxicity. Tetracycline incited considerable interest due to this in the early 1960s, shortly after its introduction. People, particularly children, developed kidney dysfunction after receiving outdated expired drugs. Now, in these cases, the cause was found to be due to a degradation product of the drug called anhydro-4-epitetracycline. This no longer seems to be an issue after a new formulation substituted citric acid for lactose, at least according to a 1991 report from the World Health Organization. Kidney issues are rare in patients who take doxycycline as long as they start out with normal renal function. 
In a survival setting, you'll most likely be using doxycycline to treat infections causing diarrheal disease. Although antibiotics may be warranted, always start with hydration and symptomatic relief. Prolonged diarrhea lasting more than three days, high fevers and bleedings are good reasons to consider using antibiotics. The risk is that one of the most common side effects of antibiotics is diarrhea. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. You can see our entire line of medical kits, educational resources, and supplies at our shop at store.doomandbloom.net. Fill those holes in your medical storage and get a head start on staying healthy in any disaster.